Happy Friday to you. Hope you're doing well. This is David Rich and I'm with Bounce and Triad, Body, Mind, and Spirit. Bounce and Triad. We all go through challenges in life from small to extremely large ones we prefer not go through and everything in between. But how you can handle those can affect the rest of your life. And that's what Bounce and the Triad is. I learned about this when I went for a tumor in my sinus. Simple tumor, simple biopsy. Only to wake up and I see you the next day with a bunch of tubes coming out of me. There was a bunch of there was major complications. My reaction when I found out it was ICU was okay. Went back a week later, got a cancer diagnosis, which I was okay with, and went back a week after that where I had an AI surgery, which I didn't know how the surgery was going to be done until afterwards because they could have removed part of the eye or part of the brain. But I handled all the kind of grace and ease. So that is what I'm referring to as doing balancing the triad. So hopefully you can take the lessons I learned to better handle the challenges that life throws at you right now, the ones you're also going through, and the ones even the ones you've already been through in the past. <clears throat> so today's topic. Allow yourself some recovery time, if needed, before making another attempt. <clears throat> now, this can take in a variety of forms. It may be something very simple, as in sometimes if you know you mess up, mess up with a password, you have to give yourself a few minutes, sometimes half an hour, before you can go back in. Something minor like that. <clears throat> or is it where you worked on a project, your brain's going crazy, you can't think anymore, so you got to take a step away to clear your head. <clears throat> or there's something like... <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why that always happens with my gun and camera out. <clears throat> what brought this on today was I've done a, uh, for the past several weeks, I've done a sandbag training. <clears throat> and it's definitely awkward because I got a military devil bag with different bags in there full of pea gravel and they move around at times. But it was max effort. So the first one is clean and press. Clean is where you take the bag, jerk it off to the ground here, and then you press it overhead. <clears throat> well, I did my warm ups and when I got to 132 pounds. It wasn't necessarily impressive because the bags are awkward slip. I couldn't quite get it up, so it was uh, didn't look very good. <clears throat> so I allowed myself some recovery time to try it again. Yeah, it didn't happen. <clears throat> and then I went to what's called loading. Loading is where you take the bag up off the ground and sit on platform, and it gets higher and higher. So I started off one about 37 inches high, had a box up there, so I went to 57, I think 61. The last one was um, 96. Or 87 inches, something like that one there. <clears throat> I'll, have to double, I'll have to double check and see what it was. Um, but what happened was, I think it was 67 inches with the final one. But when I got the load up for the final one, I started lifting up there, and the box is actually sliding back, and I can't see it. So straight up there, trying to lift it up, why it's not going to work, and I have to put it back down. Definitely was a major effort. So I do some things. It's like, okay, do I want to do this again? Do I do I want to try another attempt? So I set things up to, where the box wasn't going to slide anymore and allowed myself, I don't know if I did six, eight minutes of recovery and went to do it again. It was not pretty. It was very, it was a struggle. I mean, back up there, I'm trying to lift it. I got to get up here, and, but I finally got it up on top there. And then another one after that, which was max squats and to get the weight on there, I was using, had all my bags in there. So it was uh, 164 pounds, but I'm not able to lift that up on top of my back. I had to put it on the countertop, basically a table, and had to get up, basically squatting down to get up there and stretch back up. So, needless to say, what I'm referring to that is I had to allow myself some recovery time before I was able to make another attempt. So, we're in right now, I am feeling, especially right now, I'm feeling my right quad on the inside. I felt my calf a little bit. I will be feeling it later tonight and tomorrow. But that was the point there, is saying, where in your life have you had to allow yourself to recover, or maybe you didn't and you wish you would have, a recovery period, whether that is mental, physical, or both spiritual, before you made another attempt at something. And again, sometimes it can be something simple as waiting 30 seconds to a couple minutes before you try something again. Other times, like uh, what I went through today, it was uh, five to 10 minutes. And um, there's other times it may be a week, it may be a month, it may be a year before you can recover enough to try again. Now, that may be something you like with relationship. You may have got out of relationship. You need time to recover. You need time to process, which may be a year, maybe two years, before you decide to even go out on dates, let alone even think about getting to a regular relationship. So there's a variety of aspects in there. But just allow yourself the recovery time that you need. And it's going to be different for everybody. And I know there's going to be some situations where you're not going to be allowed to recover time, especially sometimes with uh, work-related aspects, especially um, like with the um, what's the word I'm looking for. I mean, deadline. That's the word I'm looking for, deadline. Uh, with that there, sometimes you might have a chance. But when you are able to, and if you need to, 
allow yourself that recovery time, whatever it needs to be for you to process it. Now, before I finish up here, there could be those that are, you're just stalling. There's, there's points where you stall it and don't want to do it. something. You're procrastinating versus actual recovery time so you can process and build whatever you need to go through and do. So find out about what are the times that you need some recovery time for yourself with what are me. Again, physical, mental, spiritual, or all three. For me today, it was a little bit mental because I messed up on one of those lifts. So I had to uh, get myself psyched up to do, especially that second one. And also physical is why I have a lot of the time there for my body recovered to make an attempt at the next one. So let me know your thoughts on that. Where have you had to allow yourself recovery time, either you did or where you didn't? All right. So take care. Enjoy the start of your weekend tomorrow and have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. Take care and balance it to you. Bye-bye.